Why use West Guard rules? When do any laboratory test, need to do quality control test, because quality control is essential for good laboratory practice which generate results that are accurate, reliable and timely. Before using a control specimen, one must first make a series of at least 10 measurements of the constituent in question and calculate the mean and SD of the results. Subsequently, the control specimen is used along with routine specimens and plotted on the chart called Nova I. Jennings chart. The West Guard rules are applied to accept or for the rejection of the results. But if not use West Guard rules, we have to use normal distribution curve or Gaussian curve. Also have to reject any value which exceed 2 SD. But only 95% of are in chart in 2 SD range. It is mean, 5 of every 100 controls can be out of range and have to reject as false rejections. So this rules gives a high level of false rejections or false alarms. False rejections can become very expensive to laboratory, because rejected test have to do again. Rates of false rejection With one control false rejection rate is 5%. With two controls false rejection rate is 9%. With three controls false rejection rate is 14%. With four controls false rejection rate is 17%. With 5 controls false rejection rate is 24%. So when increased number of controls, false rejection rate also increase. So to diminish the false rejection rate, West Guard rules are the very best option. For more videos please subscribe my channel. And if you like design this like video for you contact me. Also you can be my pattern and help me more creations.